Well, hello there. Today we're obviously filming in a new location, though you might already recognize it because of these two enclosures over here. They would have been some of the last couple of videos. We are in my brother's room, or what was my brother's room. So my little brother recently moved out into an apartment with some guys, you know, paying rent that life while I'm still here and 24 and living with my parents. Because he's out, the main furniture in here is gone, the bed's gone, you know, TV's gone, whatever. He's not here. I had some upgrades in the process that I didn't know where to put. Problem solved. His room is now my reptile room 2.0. So that is why we are currently in my brother's room. I'm using his room for upgrades, place to put them because I could wait. In a month, we're gonna be moving. I could wait to set up the enclosures or, hear me out, or I could do them now. The animals get to be in them sooner and then I just have to move them when we move. But you know, I'm impatient and you know, people are waiting on reviews. So you gotta do what you gotta do. So Logan, if you're seeing this, thanks for letting me use your room. Even though you didn't really tell me I could, I just started doing it anyway. Everyone else, let's jump into the video. So today we have a very exciting enclosure unboxing from, oh, I moved it. It's way over there now. Um, from dubia.com. You guys have heard me talk about them on this channel, on Instagram, on TikTok, literally everywhere all the time. They're like the only place I buy my feeder insects from. I swear by them, love them, have fantastic luck with them. Dubia.com is literally like best place to buy from if you are a reptile keeper. So in the past year or so, they came out with their own enclosures. They are four by two by twos. They are black, so they don't match my color scheme. However, I'm intrigued. So I was talking to them about, you know, their future plans for enclosures, my future plans for enclosures, and they offered to send me one of these four by two by twos to kind of test out and see what I think. And I like free things and I like upgrades. So who am I to say no, just because it's not the right color? Plus it helps speed up the upgrade process a little quicker because I am down to like, I don't know, three animals that need upgrades. Everyone else is done. They're done. I am almost done giving everybody upgrades. So like I said, I did get this enclosure for free. However, you guys have seen me do many enclosure reviews at this point and you know they're always unbiased. I'm very truthful. I tell it how it is. I let you guys know the pros and the cons. This will be no different just because I got it for free. I will still tell you pros and cons if there are any of either and what I think. And then, mm, I'm not gonna tell you what I'll tell you. I think I'll tell you because it might be in the thumbnail already. You know what, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. I'm not gonna tell you what animal I'm putting in it because I don't know if it'll be in the thumbnail or not. It probably will be, but I'm very excited because this is kind of giving a stepping stone enclosure to an animal that desperately, desperately needs an upgrade. Like I literally hate its enclosure that's in right now so much. So this kind of gives me a little bit, not a little bit of time. I really don't have time. She really needs a big enclosure, but this kind of gives me an in-between while we work on the moving process and then building her new enclosure. So this gives her a little bit of extra space in the meantime, and I will take that. I will gladly, absolutely take that. So enough rambling, let's unbox it and put it together, see how long it takes me. All right, let's review the packaging. All right, looks very well packaged. Oh. It comes with a little hammer. I grabbed one from the garage, but they literally send tools to you. How sweet is that? Why don't we start with the uh, instructions? So the box is upside down right now, but they do send a QR code with instructions. I love that more places are doing that. Okay, so I just scanned it. Do, 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 do. All right. 
So it looks a lot like the Oibo enclosure that I got for Tula. Like the knockdowns, you put it together, it's in all these pieces, side slide in. So this shouldn't be too bad. So let's see. Make the bottom, slide it in, put it on the side, slide it all together, put it on the top. All right, let's do this. Ignore the messy floor. I just moved Kahlua out yesterday and it made a mess. And I don't know if these are labeled or not. They don't appear to be. That looks like it should be a front piece because it's got a track there. I think we're trying to build the bottom right now. So I think we want the longer ones. I don't know what these are. Assemble bottom with the long bars first so panel can slide in from the side. Well, these are the long bars. 1F is the part that goes underneath that. And 1C, so we need two long pieces. So we take out that one. That leaves these two, okay. We're getting it. That was actually a lot more obvious than I was making it out to be. How do you tell which one's which? You just wing it? Are they all the same? So it's gotta be one of these. And these all look relatively the same. We're figuring it out. We need to get these corner pieces in here. This is where the camera would come in, I guess. Okay. Looks like it lines up pretty well. Let's do the other one. See those holes? See those holes? Those are for stacking enclosures, best I know. So that needs to be on the bottom. So, like that. So there's our bottom. There's the top. Is it under even more? Oh, wait. Aha. Okay. Oh, here's all the glass in Oops. Okay. Um, not my smartest moment. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're just gonna get all this out of the way. And there's the bottom. If you know with my other PVC enclosures, I get really annoyed when they come in and they're all dinged up. I don't know if you can tell this has like a blue hue on it because it has a protective cover on it. How great! And it just peels right off. Ooh. This is making my hair staticky. Oh, this side's so much easier. Whoosh. All right, we're in. We've got a bottom. I'll build the end first, I guess. That'll make my life easier. I don't know if you guys can see it. When I put this stuff together, it like, does this little like chipping thing where like it falls up and like chips off. I don't know, it's weird. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's, just, it's weird. Step two, assemble the sides. It's definitely not. Not at all. Does it not go down more than that? Oh, I think it should. It's not going down more than that. I'm confused. This front piece and these two little pieces, they're ever so slightly different from the others because they have this little notch here, this little knobby knob. So, how does this go? You put it in. This one does it too. Okay, we'll look at these. Just, just look at these for a moment. It's like thicker right here, so it doesn't go in all the way. Am I just supposed to be super aggressive with it? Like, so that one did go in. So apparently I need to be more aggressive with the corners. 
So we've got this long glass piece that goes in the front. Ooh, that looks nice. No scratches, just dog hair. Type into a new look of the dog. This should go over it. Okay, and then we hammer it in. Okay, so I know that Alex from Go Herping had posted a video putting this together this morning if I went and watched it to see what he did and he flipped it upside down to hammer the joint instead of the actual like frame. So we're gonna give that a try and see if it works. I don't wanna undo the progress that I already have. Oh, there it goes. Crap, crap, crap. Got it, all right. Let's try. Still not going in. Progress. Okay, do you see right there how like it bulges out? You might not be able to tell. Make it brighter. Okay, do you see right there how like it bulges out? So right here is actually thicker than the rest of it. So it isn't sliding on very easily. My boyfriend just texted, when in doubt, get a bigger mallet. I already did. Making progress. I think that's good. See why is not this on both sides? This comes off so easily. This one doesn't have a cable hole. Okay. I feel like most of my enclosures, the lights are on this side. So we're gonna switch. Okay, this is where we're at so far. Sides on, backs on. I think next is the top, hopefully. So the, so the top is next. It's already assembled, thankfully I don't have to do that. Screw in the support bars. Here's our top, here's our beams. This is the channel we have to have in the front because tracks for the glass. Door handles, nice. Seat clamps, lots of screws. And they didn't send a screwdriver. They don't just hammer things to send a hammer. They don't just screw things. They don't send a screwdriver. Now to go get one. So if you look closely, you can see there's these little screw holes here for you to line up. And it just attaches like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we'll be back. Hi, Monet. Do you hear the thunder? Hmm, do you hear the thunder? Let me move this out of the way. Okay, now you can come over. Hi, hello. Oh, the, the scary thunder, huh? The scary thunder. Okay, we're done. So you had to screw into the screen, so just like a hand screwdriver didn't work. I had to get a drill. And it's really annoying because like I said, you have to screw it kind of into the screen. So it's hard to get started, the screws are tiny. So if you have sausage fingers, good luck. Uh, I struggled. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's like chipping out. It's because it's like shaving it off as I'm hammering it in. Like it's not cut small enough. So it's being forced in, just making it harder to hammer. Okay, so check this out. This is for cords. So you can literally like turn it for your cords and you can like close it. If you don't have any, like that's pretty cool. Okay, that's been installed and works great. Okay, all we have left is the doors and putting the handles on. We've got follow instructions. Peel from here. Ooh, that was almost bad. Everything looks good. Nice. 
Now let's get it set up for an animal so I can kind of use it and then I'll give my opinions and review. Throwing some lights on top so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, it's all put together. Samoa is in. She's pretty much just stayed in this corner over here. Um, I did look at the website, read it over so we could talk about it. The doors are acrylic, so they're pretty, pretty sturdy. So just like I always do, I made my pros and cons list and we're gonna go through it, starting with the pros. So probably the best pro for me is that it is lightweight. So they say it's only about 30 pounds and I believe it. I got it upstairs by myself. I like put it together. I did a lift test, so I lifted it to make sure I could. Um, super lightweight. So I have no doubt this will be super easy to move when we move. So all my other enclosures, I had to get help bringing them upstairs. This one, all by myself. Moving on. It's a very sleek design. The black looks nice, it looks clean. The doors move super easily, super smooth, like it just looks nice. So next pros, I could put it together by myself. I almost couldn't, but I did. I could. I figured it out. So I will give the points for me doing it by myself because I did manage. Next pro, it has a screen top so that you can have overhead heating outside of the enclosure, which allows for more room inside of the enclosure for the animals to climb and whatnot. So, like that. Next pro is their stackable. If you guys have been following me, you know I'm all about stackable enclosures. All of my enclosures that I build or now buy are stacking. I like to save space. I like the looks of it just being clean and stacked. And these can stack, they say four high. You do have to buy a spacer from them. I think it was like 12 bucks. You buy the spacers, it goes in the corners, and then you can stack another one on top of it. Now I will say I don't know how much substrate you'd want to put in because the bottom does seem a little flexible. It's just a light sheet of PVC. So I don't know if it would bow, putting lots of substrate in and then being stacked with spacers. That I cannot give a uh, review on because I have not seen them in action like that. But pro is they are advertised for stacking. Next pro, they come with door handles. I love a good door handle and not having to put my uh, fingers all over the glass. And my last pro is the price. So mind you, this is a four by two by two. This has kind of become the minimum, if you will, for a lot of species where it used to be a 40 gallon breeder, and that was what was common. Now four by two by two is what is becoming more common. So it's good to see more companies putting out enclosures that are four by two by two to make it a little more easily accessible to someone who maybe doesn't know how to build enclosures. I built all of mine because there was nowhere to really buy them unless I wanted to wait like a year to get them from companies and have them like custom made or whatever. So I built them myself. It's nice to see these options for people that maybe don't have that ability. Because if I didn't have my dad to build them, I would have to buy them. And they're also fairly affordable. So their normal price is $2.99. So $2.99 is a pretty good price, but they're also on sale a lot. So right now they're actually on sale for $2.59. 
and they're donate donating 50 percent of the profits from the enclosures so that's pretty cool not only are you getting a discount on your enclosures but the money is being donated to a cause i don't really know of other enclosure places that you know that do that that donate money so that's pretty cool but dupia.com is always donating and helping out helping out others that's why we love them so now we move on to the cons I'm just going to keep switching camera angles. So the cons. They advertise that it's easy to put together. You put it together in a few minutes. It took me an hour. Now, you guys saw the problems I had with the pieces not fitting together easily. Had they fit together easily, it probably would have only taken me like maybe 30 minutes tops. But because I had a fight with that, it did take me longer. Which obviously, that's going to be the next con. It's a noisy process and you have to be aggressive with it. So you, you heard it, you heard it, it was loud and it wasn't until I just really like went to town like just wailing on it, not caring how loud it was, that I was able to finally get those pieces in. So you really, you, you gotta go to town on it. So I kinda wish it said in the instructions like, hammer hard, because I thought I was hammering hard, I was not hammering hard enough. And you guys know how I feel about PVC just in general. I've done PVC enclosure reviews before, though I am becoming more of a PVC fan, it still bugs me that it like attracts hair and dust because like I've got a lot of hair, it gets everywhere, but also we have two cats and a dog here, so again, there's hair everywhere. Especially being a black enclosure, our dog has a lot of white hair that gets everywhere, so it would be very noticeable. And then my last con is in the instructions that said, you know, everything's included. They sent you a little hammer, which would be pro, they did send you a little, a little mallet. But they say that you just need a screwdriver for the screws. Like, yeah, the only thing not included is a screwdriver. You need that to attach the handles and the bars on the top. Nope, I, I tried to use a screwdriver. I didn't try to use a screwdriver on the handle, so I don't know how that would have gone. But using a screwdriver to attach the bars on the top did not did not go as planned, I had to get a drill. Minor inconvenience, but just something I wanna note because like I said, my enclosure reviews are always very, very honest. And sometimes a little nitpicky because I want to be very thorough with my enclosure reviews. So now to wrap it up. What would I rate this enclosure? I'm gonna go, I didn't think about this one ahead of time. I'm thinking seven out of 10, eight out of 10. I'm in between, so here's my thoughts. 7 out of 10 because I think that bottom's going to be a little flimsy. Like right now this is on the ground, so having that substrate in it doesn't really matter. But should it be stacked, it's going to be a little flimsy. So that makes me a little concerned, especially like when I go to pick it up to move it. Is the bottom going to like bow? Because well, I don't know. But I also want to go 8 out of 10 because it's so lightweight. I love how lightweight it is, but I did get really frustrated putting it together, which makes me want to give it a 7, but it is a nice enclosure, so I'm going to go with an 8. I'll leave you with my weird thought process there and just finish with the final note. Would I buy this enclosure again? Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, you guys know my aesthetic is white enclosures, so if Dubia.com comes out with a white one of these, I am all in. Now, obviously this is a temporary enclosure for Samoa, and it doesn't match my other enclosures for my reptile room, but I do have a plan for it because it is so lightweight. So it will not go to waste at all. So yes, I would absolutely, if you are looking for a larger enclosure for one of your pets, I would highly recommend it. Good price, you put it together, super lightweight. You're not waiting months for some company to build it. They're sending you the parts and you're putting it together yourself. Feels pretty sturdy. Doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. I like it, I think it's a good enclosure. So I just wanna give another huge thank you to Dubia.com for sending me this enclosure to try out. Samoa is very happy that she has more space now. I don't wanna be anthropomorphic, but I'm saying that she's happy she has more space now. Have you used one of their enclosures before? Let me know in the comments, let me know what you think. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for the next video. Bye.